Okay, here we have Jonathan Tremaine Robinson. Now, I have always, from day one, felt that Jonathan Tremaine Robinson was a victim. He was a victim from the moment he took up with Renita Williams. If he had not gotten involved with Renita Williams, his life would continue to prosper and he would have continued on his path that he was on, which is being a very good looking black man very good looking black man very nice body he would be a catch for a lot of women but he made the mistake of getting involved with Renita Williams and it became his demise now granted Jonathan Tremaine Robinson is not the only victim out there. He's not the only potential victim. He's not the first victim. And he won't be the last victim of black women. You know. I just mainly thank God he did not kill himself. Do not take yourself out over these black women. As long as y'all don't start killing yourself, you know, that's all I'm concerned about. Don't kill yourself. The black women are not worth it. Look at those pretty teeth. And look at that pretty uh, boy. Jeans don't get no better than that. Yeah. He's a reflection of a lot of you black men out there. You know? Unsuspecting victims in the making. Some of you are already in so deep that there's no way out. You know? You're living in a in a in a prison. Except the prison is not the prison don't have any bars. You're not behind bars. You know, you're living in a black woman's prison. You know. They got y'all robbing and stealing working overtime to support their lifestyle. Primarily wigs, hair, weaves, hair bundles, clothes, shoes, I mean child support, baby mama drama, you know, some of y'all have been trying to get away from these black women. You know? Just like Jonathan Robinson and a lot of other black men, you know? And I, I, I truly believe in my heart that Jonathan Robinson woke up one day and he said, okay, I've tried everything I can to get away from this woman. She won't let me go. Look at those pretty white teeth. Pretty chocolate skin. Very good looking black man. And a very nice body too. Yeah, he tried everything he could to get away from Renita Williams. And when he thought he had got away from her, you know, that's when she decided to make fun of his new woman. You know? But she had planted seeds way before this. You know, she had planted all kinds of seeds. 
It's just that none of them have broke ground, you know. But when she pulled that last stunt, she had pulled thousands of stunts before that, believe it. You know, and all of those seeds were planted. But when that last stunt was pulled, every seed broke ground. You know, that's what they do to you. You know, I mean, some of you men right now are trying to get money to get bundles of hair and weaves for these for these black women. You know, they just playing y'all like a like a uh, a fiddle. You know, they got y'all on lockdown. You know, matter of fact, some of y'all are already locked up for child support, you know. I mean, they already planned, first of all, they already planned to have a baby. So if it wasn't you, it was, was going to be somebody else, you know. That's just so they can get on public assistance. Um, and then on top of it, you know, you know, uh, Part of their plan is to just is to just make you guys as lives a lives a living hell, and for the ones that they can't keep a leash on, for the ones like Jonathan Robinson, which is a strong black man that don't need y'all, cause he have what it takes to get whatever woman he wants. But the problem he made is getting involved with these black women. He should have gotten him a white woman. And he would he would not have any of the drama he's dealing with right now. But, you know, unfortunately, he's one of those 55% that, um, you know, are just victims. Victims of y'all black women. The other 45% either don't deal with y'all at all. Or either they messing with Latin women, Chinese women, and white women. And that number is steady increasing every year. So those are the smart ones. And I'm not saying Jonathan was dumb, you know. He, he truly thought that a black woman was something like a queen, you know. That's what he thought. That's what, you know, that's, that's what, that's what the whole brainwashing is, you know, beautiful, strong, black queens of the world, the black women, you know. So, I mean, he's not at fault for falling for that, you know. It's the same way y'all are on YouTube, you know, clicking on all these different clickbait ads and stuff like that. It's the same thing. I just wish I, I could have had a chance to sit sit down and talk with them, you know, and let them know that even though you may be doing criminal activity and stuff like that, you know, your biggest threat out of all this different stuff you're doing, your biggest threat is Renita Williams, that black woman that knows what you're doing and will stop at nothing to bring you down. That wants you so bad that she'll do anything to break up your relationship. You know, Jonathan Robinson moved on. He didn't want nothing else to do with that black woman. He moved on to a better black woman. Because, you know, even though 95% of y'all are like that, there's still that small 5% that are not like that. You know? And he found that small 5%. And, um, you know, just like typical black women, you know, can't leave well enough alone, you know, and um, she just, you know, continued messing with him. And when she saw that she couldn't get a reaction, look at that. Look how, look how good looking he is. Very handsome guy there. Very good looking guy. And uh, and I'm not worried about him in prison. He can he can protect himself in prison very well. He has a lot of experience with that. So 
I'm not the least bit uh, worried about Jonathan Robinson. I just hate that, you know, there's another good looking, fine black man with a nice body that has been, that has fallen victim to these black women, you know. I just hate that. But I can say, he at least he had sense enough not to kill himself. So he'll be fine. But yeah, you know, he just, um, you know, these black women will load you up with all kind of problems, all kind of pressures and stuff like that. You know, they size you up. You know, they test you, they run over you, they bad mouth you. They say things that they think are gonna hurt you. You know, stuff like that. Even though it don't hurt you, you know what? It's still a seed. Black men are planting every one of those seeds. They're being planted. Some are being planted in soil. Some are being planted in mud. Some are being planted in all kind of earthly materials. But eventually they all break ground. Even the ones planted in clay. Eventually they break ground. Might take several years, but eventually they break ground. Yeah, so I'm, I mean, he's just another victim. There's, there's no need in trying to read anything more into it. You know, another black, fine, good-looking black man that could have did bad by himself, got caught up with the wrong black woman, and now, you know... Um, He's just going to have to, you know, adjust to the new life he's been given. But I'm going to honestly tell you, his new life is probably a whole hell of a lot better than it was when he was dealing with, dealing with these black women out here. He don't have that problem anymore. Whatsoever. He should have just kept rolling solo, just like he's doing on here. He should have kept rolling solo. In five years, he'd have, he would have had his own house paid for, his own car paid for, his own business. He wouldn't have had nothing to worry about except just finding his, his, his uh, white queen, you know. See, they sidetrack you with all of their problems. They nails need done. They hair need done. This got to be paid. That got to be paid. Uh... You know, this, that, the other. I need child support and all of this, you know. But at the end of the day, it's all it's all about hair. You know, all about them weaves. You know, they make it your problem that, that now they're bald-headed and their hair them fell out and their hair can't grow back. They somehow, for the weak men, the weak-minded men, Somehow they're able to shift all those problems so that now they're your problems. And then they have you on lockdown. You can't leave. All you're doing is trying to get money for that hair. You know? I mean, you can't even sit down and eat your meal without weave hair all in the food. All on your clothes. All in the bathroom, all in the bed, all everywhere, and the stench of it, you know? And they can't grow their hair. I mean, Jonathan Robinson could, could cut his hair totally bald and still get women. And a month later, every bit of his hair will be back. Black men can cut their hair and it grows back. Black women, when they cut their hair, it don't grow back. Because those weave and glue have ate up so much of that scalp and that skull that the skull is in permanent damage. It can't produce a hair follicle anymore. And now, all of a sudden, the pressure is on the black men now to get them new hair and get it done every month and a half when the women don't even get it done but once a year but they put all that pressure on you 
That's why the smart man don't even get involved with y'all. You know, look at her. Look at that chest, those arms. Women, women peeking out they out they curtains right now, out they blinds right now, getting just trying to get a good look at that at that fine black specimen right there. They want it, you know. And they feel like once they get you in the bed, they got you, you know. But I gotta admit, you know. There is that 45% of black men out there that know the game. And they know how to handle y'all. And they leave y'all with a house full of kids. And uh, as far as wifing y'all up, that's, that has never been in the, in, the, in the cards. That has never been an option. Because they know what they're dealing with. <clears throat> they just outsmarting y'all before y'all outsmart them. And the smart ones are going to, if you're smart, make them think that they got you right where they want you at. You know, make them think that. You know? Because I'm sure that's what Jonathan Robinson did. He made her think that she had him on a leash. You know? Yeah, he wasn't no fool. Don't kill yourself, Mr. Handsome Black Man. These black women ain't worth your life. Look at that. All you see is those pretty white teeth and real hair on his head. Real hair. You know, black men have real hair. Black women just got like these patches missing at the front of their head where the weave and the glue have taken out all their hair. They can't grow no hair. They mad at, you know, I mean, they get enraged at any other black woman with real hair. They get enraged at uh, any other woman with, with real hair. It drives them crazy. They go into a rage. You know, any other woman who weave it look better than yours, any other woman who still have her edges, any other woman that, that, that can walk around with their real hair without a pound of makeup on their face and all of this other garbage just to even be presentable, to even walk outside your door, you know? Jonathan Robertson was a victim, you know? And there's millions of, of uh, Jonathan Robinsons out there. He, he's a victim, you know? But he's still my hero, though, you know? He's still my hero because he's setting the precedence of what black men are no longer tolerating the disrespect is at the top of the list. Of course, the list has a thousand items on it. Y'all have violated all thousand of them. You know, you're going to make sure y'all violate, the women, black women are going to make sure they violate all thousand of the items on the list, you know. The only difference is some black men, they're going to handle it when you violate one of those items. Some black men are going to wait until you violate a hundred of them. Some going to wait until you violate 500 of them. And for the ones that y'all got on the leash so tight that they've been trying for years to get away from y'all and they can't, you know, they're at 999 items on that list that have been, that have been uh, uh, you know, violated by you black women but the thing is you black women don't know whether or not the black men are going to deal with y'all from the moment y'all violate one item or if it's going to take 999 y'all don't know 
because y'all don't know what the other black woman he dealt with before that. How many how many uh, items have already been violated? So you know, it's just like a ticking time bomb, you know. Y'all don't have a clue what black men was going through black men's heads, you know. You don't know. They not gonna tell you. Why would why would a black man tell y'all what's really going on in his head when you're going to use that against him like you've already been doing? They're smarter than you think. They're smart enough not to kill themselves. Say it again. They're smart enough not to kill themselves. They're smart enough to go to prison and get three hot meals and a bed and clothes and they can hang around other black men and, and share stories and um, you know just have peace don't know don't none of these black men which I'm gonna tell you the truth about 30% of them are already locked up but there's another 70% out there still walking the streets waiting you know they still got to learn. They haven't learned yet. They haven't learned what y'all about yet. You know? Look at that. Beautiful black man. Beautiful. But he's a victim. This is a victim right here. A victim of y'all black women. Yeah. Look at that, look at that body. Beautiful body. Beautiful clothes, beautiful shoes. Handsome face. Big strong arms, chocolate skin, you know. And y'all will stop at nothing and bring them down. But what y'all didn't plan on is you know, they're not gonna be. They're not gonna continue to be a victim of y'all's. You know, they're very smart. Very smart black man. They know what to do. All I can say is, just don't kill yourself. Whatever you do, just don't kill yourself and you have won. So whatever it takes, you know, it is what it is. But free yourself. Free yourself, black men. Get out of these prisons that these black women have y'all in. And been in them for years and years and years. You know, Jonathan said, I'm not gonna if I'm going if I'm gonna be in prison. I'm going to put me in a real prison. I'm not going to continue to deal with their bullshit. Yeah. You won't be the last victim of John, Jonathan Robinson. You know. There's a lot of men with seeds. That's been planted for years. And it don't take but one millisecond or one millimeter more of they bullshit. When they, all, every one of them seeds going to sprout and break ground. Every last one of them. They're not going to see it coming. Mm -mm. None of y'all see it coming. All y'all see is what y'all doing to them. But y'all gonna be fine. Y'all black men gonna be fine. Just don't kill yourself. As long as you don't kill yourself, you're all right. Do not kill yourself. Do not kill yourself. That's the main thing. Don't kill yourself, and you'll be fine. Yeah, don't kill yourself. 
Look how well groomed he is. Yeah. I just hate he got, you know, tied up with these black women, you know? That's the thing. He got tied up with these black women. And, uh, you know, there's hundreds of thousands more of y'all out there, man. These black women got y'all to the point where the, there's so much pressure. It's like a pressure cooker. Every year, the pressure gets increase tenfold the next year ten more fold ten more fold and they ain't satisfied until they make that that lid explode see they thinking y'all gonna kill y'all self but thank god ain't none of y'all that crazy so you know but this is my hero right here I, I can honestly say from day one, I knew that he was a victim of Renita Williams. I knew it from day one. I mean, I just told you black women what y'all wanted to hear, you know, like I do all the time when I'm around y'all. I, I just lied to y'all and told y'all exactly what y'all wanted to hear, you know, because I know how to deal with y'all. My, my way of dealing with y'all is don't deal with y'all at all or when I have to deal with you, lie until I get y'all the hell out my face. That's how it works.